Hey everybody, Mike B here with a garden update video for those of you who care. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of start in the same place that uh, I started on the last video when it was all dry and I was just planting a bunch of seeds and stuff. So we've got the garlic here. It's doing a little bit better. It's getting bigger consistently. I got a little bit cold last night, so there wasn't a lot of growth, but uh, yeah, it's it's still trucking right along. It's going to be great. So you got these this new growth right there and everything. And um, yeah, so the garlic's doing well. The asparagus, of course, isn't up. That's probably not going to be up until next year, which is planted right there. Now, it's been, I think, about a week and a half or two weeks since I did my last video. Here's the corn. So we've got four distinct rows. I'll walk up this row. So there's one. Sorry about the wind. Two, three, four rows of corn are all up. You see that? And they're doing very well. I had to come out and cover them all last night because there was a frost warning. I don't think it ended up freezing. There wasn't any frost when I came out here this morning. But better safe than sorry because that's a lot of corn and these plants are doing very well. Here we'll get in kind of get down in there. Some of them are still a little bit laying down from the having a sandbag over them last night. But like that one's doing really well. See, so yeah, I got a nice got a nice corn crop. This is going to be this year. This is again the Bantam Sweet Gold uh, heirloom seeds. It's probably some of the best sweet corn money can buy and you can plant at home. So delicious for eating fresh and or canning. So um, the potatoes have not come up yet where I planted them, but we'll talk about some other potatoes here in a little bit. But this is where all the potatoes are planted. And we'll move over here. Uh, since the last year, I did plant the carrots and turnips and the turnips are already coming up. So there's a turnip. They're all in this row right here. And the carrots are actually back here. They just take longer to come up. The carrots are right there and the turnips are right there. So the turnips are already up. I have never grown turnips before, but I like them in stews, especially in the fall. They're just amazing. Oh, there's a carrot right here that's coming up. I think it's a carrot. Yep. There's another one. It was really windy when I planted them. So yeah, so the carrots are coming up, which is really cool. So there's a nice, nice two big, nice rows of those. As you can see, it's been raining a lot, which is really good. So that's a really good thing. Now we'll get to the cucumber. Oh, sorry. We'll get to the cucumbers. Look at those. Aren't those beautiful? Look at that. This hill's not doing as well, but I'm sure they'll come up. There's still plenty of time. Look at this. You got the Cody. Don't step on him. Don't get out. No. God, my animals always destroy everything. Just don't step on my plants. God. Anyway, so yeah, the cucumbers are going very well. I'm pretty sure the Russian pickling cucumbers are here and the Parisian ones are here, or else it's the other way around. I don't know, but they're all in the same row. So it's gonna be, it's gonna kind of get really crappy here. You see all this other green growth around there? It's gonna be grass. So I'm gonna have to come out here and intricately remove that once the plants get a little bit bigger. Right now, the roots are all gonna be kind of hard to get at. So I'm just gonna wait till they get a little bit bigger and then it rains and I have to come out here and uh, spend a decent amount of time getting all that grass out of there so it doesn't choke out the uh, cucumbers. And then by that time, the cucumbers should be big enough to where they'll actually choke out any grass that tries to form underneath them. So that's the fun of gardening. You got these, look at these. These are beautiful, all those got planted right next to each other. I thought I only planted one right there, but those should be okay. So there's approximately six to eight cucumber plants on each hill, and I've got 12 hills, I don't have 14, like I said in the last video mistakenly. And so, <laughs> that's a potato plant. That's from last year. They didn't really grow well last year, but apparently they stayed in the ground and they made it past the tilling, and now they're coming up. Also, there's another potato plant. And another one, right in the middle right here where I had them planted last year. And this has got a bunch of little ones coming up beside it. So I'm just gonna let those grow. Those are golden potatoes. So if my other ones that I planted don't come up, at least I'll have some potatoes. Um, but it kind of sucks because they're gonna be right next to the, uh, right next to the uh, pickling cucumbers. And the uh, Amish melons, which are basically cantaloupe. Get this out of here. So those are up too, those double, the double leaf ones look like cucumbers. Most vine plants look like that. Most plants in general look like that where they kind of got the divided leaves that pop up. So those are up too. Uh, the dill over here is gonna have that same problem with the grass except dill grows a lot faster and it's a really hardy plant. So I think those are dill plants right there. We'll see. I haven't grown dill in many years since I was a kid. And uh, I'm waiting for it to get past the point where we're going to have any sort of, you know, frost advisory at all before I actually, I got to come out here. I'm just going to, the good thing about this is that there's nothing planted here right now. 
I'm just going to borrow the neighbor's tiller and go through and till up all this grass. This is from, you can see where my garden was last year and how much I expanded it this year by the grass line. So this is all wild grass seed that blows in the fall and it'll start growing in your garden. It really sucks. It's really annoying to, to take care of it after it's growing and you have to get the roots out because the problem is like the roots will compete with the uh, plants that you get food from and that's just not good. The grass is a bitch to take care of but right now I'm going to just till this while it's still vacant and um, so I'll just have to deal with mainly the grass on the cucumber hills and the, the melon hills and then I'll be able to till all this stuff up and kill all the seeds and then I'm going to put something called preen on there probably um, when it comes time for uh, after I till because preen what that does is just stop seeds from being able to germinate so if all my seeds are germinated that I'm planning on planting uh, and I just have plants in there. It's not harmful at all to like plants that are already germinated like this stuff But if I were to till this and then there'd still be seeds in the ground, but they wouldn't have germinated yet I'll put preen on there and then they won't come up And yet my plants like my tomato and pepper plants that are gonna be planted over in this area Will all be okay. So that's kind of the plan for that Hoping that'll work out. But anyway, so that's what I've got. It's um, God, I forgot the date. It's probably the 20 It's the Friday before Memorial Day in 2021 so um yeah it's coming along nice it's been nice and rainy and then it gets really hot and sunny which is exactly what you want for most plants in the garden i mean you can see the corn again i'm pretty proud of this corn it's coming up really nice so far uh, most of the farmers around here haven't even planted their corn yet so i'm way ahead of them i should be able to get corn probably by the end of july or early august which is going to be awesome and start getting it then and then i got to can a bunch of it it's going to be fantastic so just thought I'd give you a little update on the garden for those of you that care. I, I was really surprised and pretty happy with the last video. A bunch of you commented and you guys are fellow gardeners. So that's good. I wish more people would be doing this. It's so much, it's so much more healthy and it's so much fun to actually grow your own food. And it's very rewarding, especially if you know how to can stuff. But even just eating it fresh. Again, like I said in the first video, I'm not a big fan of vegetables. I know, right? Weird. Would never believe that. But um, I absolutely love vegetables that are fresh from a garden. Uh, it's pretty much the only way I can tolerate them now because the stuff from the stores is just not good. But anyway, so I'll stop ranting. If you uh, want these to keep coming, I can keep making them. They're really not a lot of effort. And I kind of like showing off the garden because it's going well so far this year. Let's try to keep it that way. So again, if you car if you garden and stuff or you're just watching this, let me know what, you what you're growing this year in the uh, comment section. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. If you've got any questions, I'll try to answer them. And we'll see you on the next garden update.